Oh, dang. All right, so this is the moment, guys. We're going to take a look at the Galaxy Z Fold 5 versus the Galaxy Z Flip 5. Now, if you're considering buying either one of these, clearly the Z Flip is going to be the more affordable option. It's selling for a 1000 bucks compared to the $1,800 price point on the Z Fold 5. Now, I will say both phones are really cool, but if you want to go for the ultimate coolness factor, then... Yeah, man, the Z Fold is uh, its pretty ridiculous. Now, uh, clearly, when these phones are closed, the Z Flip is going to be a lot smaller, which actually makes it a lot better for carrying around in your back pocket. Of course, when these phones are opened up, you're going to have a 7.6-inch display on the Z Fold 5, and then you got a 6.7-inch display on the Z Flip 5. You can also see I've got these custom wallpapers going on right now, all about the Superman lately. But here's the thing, uh, whichever phone you go with, I would say you're not going to be disappointed, but I think for most people, the Z Flip 5 is going to make a lot more sense because it's a, basically half the price almost. You can actually get some good offers right now on it. As a matter of fact, if you guys are looking for deals on either one of these phones or want to check out our full detailed reviews on these phones, we'll also have some uh, resource links you can check out directly below in the description. But some of the other basic specs on these phones, you know, battery life is always going to be a big issue. And you've got a 4400 mAh built-in battery on the Z Fold. Then on the Z Flip, you've got a 3700 mAh built-in battery. I would say overall, when it comes to battery life, I think the Z Flip 5 is going to be better just because it's a smaller phone. And when you have a much larger phone like the Z Fold 5, it is going to eat away at that battery a little bit quicker, especially when you're watching video and gaming. Then when it comes to phone photography, if you want the ultimate phone photography, the Z Fold 5 is definitely going to be where it's at. The phone's got a 50 megapixel triple lens back camera on it. You've got the 12 megapixel on the Z Flip 5. And, you know, honestly, I've just started recording and taking pictures with the Z Fold 5 and the phone is ridiculous. Both phones are also waterproof IPX8 rated. And lastly, I would say the weight might also become an issue for some people. The Z Fold 5 is actually a really heavy phone. I was kind of surprised. Now, I think it's lighter than last year's Z Fold 4, but carrying this phone around is pretty, I mean, it's, it's got some beef to it. Let's just put it that way. And, you know, the coolness factor, I got to come back to that. With the Z Fold 5, I was out eating lunch the other day. I pulled the phone out and somebody's like, oh, you got that phone. There is kind of like a statement piece to the Z Fold 5, you know, even though people are going to be like, oh, you got... Uh, you know, that uh, Z Flip phone, the Z Fold definitely has kind of like the upper echelon of the coolness going on. Okay, the next thing I am going to do here is how we normally do it. I'm going to run some video on both phones, and then I'm also going to do some more gaming with the Z Fold 5, uh, playing some more Killer Instinct because I love that game. If you guys could also tap the like button on this video, I would appreciate it. If you have any questions specifically about either one of these phones, um, you could also message me below in the comments. But for now, let's run it. You got to take the oath. I promise to do everything in my power to protect this city. I promise. Ultra Tech just needed one favor from TJ. Throw the fight. <laughs> 